Certain helicopter rides above the city could soon be a thing of the past. New legislation calls to end sightseeing tours due to safety and noise concerns. CBS 2's Dave Carlin reports. We actually celebrate rainy days so I can actually enjoy Central Park. It is when the weather is nice that Andrew Rosenthal says he suffers most with what he calls an onslaught of city sightseeing tours by helicopter. Buzzing his wraparound top floor terrace with Hudson River and Central Park views. I wake up to it in the morning and in my blood, I just feel my blood pressure just going up. The apartment vibrates. The building vibrates. Rosenthal says many times the flights that are bothering him in terms of noise originate here in New Jersey. It's the move of the tourist business in part to New Jersey and flying over Central Park. He says it doesn't matter that New York City prohibits tours from taking off on Sundays because New Jersey-based tours now fill that void. Like these from Kearney, zipping back and forth to skirt Manhattan. Rosenthal was at this news conference with politicians from both New York and New Jersey, who backed proposed legislation to end sightseeing tours and restrict elite VIP travel. It's not essential for a billionaire who's running late for a golf game in the Hamptons. Shakespeare in the park, zzz, I've heard them. Drastically reduce helicopter traffic improve safety and cut down on noise pollution. New York Congressman Jerry Nadler's bill would not count essential helicopter trips for police, medical reasons, and news gathering. We reached out by phone and email to several aviation companies, including New Jersey ones, along with the Eastern Region Helicopter Council, and we did not hear back. New York-based Blade Urban Air Mobility told us Blade does not arrange or sell helicopter tours, and the company is transitioning to quiet, zero-emission electric aircraft to reduce noise. On the west side, Dave Carlin, CBS 2 News.